Welcome back to PowerPoint Training Online. Today, for another Bite Size Monday, we are going to show you how to lock drawing mode. Before we show you how to use lock drawing mode, I'm going to explain a little bit what it is. When you're using the drawing tools, so for instance you're drawing a line, a square, a circle, etc, etc, you can lock the drawing mode so that it will keep your mouse pointer with that shape, so that means you can draw multiples without having to constantly go up to the top of the box and press a new shape, or you won't have to copy and paste. Let me give you an example of what I mean here. So if I go on to a new slide, and I just delete these for now, and if I get a box, I'm going to draw a box. Now, in order for me to draw a second box, I need to either A, copy and paste that one, or I need to go up top, get a new shape, and hopefully draw one the same size. A little bit tedious, a little bit of a nuisance, but there is a quicker way. And that is by locking the drawing tool. So when you're on your shape, so if I go up to my shape box here, and if I right click, you'll notice an option for lock drawing mode. If I press that, you'll now notice that the box shape has highlighted. So I come down here and I draw, but you'll notice my mouse pointer hasn't changed. It's still a crosshair. So I can now continue to draw more boxes, whatever shape size I want, without actually having to go and copy and paste or back up to the top of the select box again, then go back up again, back up again. I can now just keep these locked and I can just draw more shapes when I want. Now you may be thinking, why do I need this feature? This feature, and to be honest with you, I didn't really realize this until recently, was I was doing some process maps in PowerPoint and I was, I was sick of having to go up and draw lines all the time. So if, you can, if I just show you here, I've got a few boxes where I was doing a flow chart or a process map. Now, click on the slide, lock my line. Okay, so now I can come down here and I can draw lines. I don't need to keep going back up. I can keep the line one highlighted at all times so I don't need to keep going back up or copy and paste and create new lines. It is just, it's on. So, I hope this helped, guys, today. Again, this is a feature I've only discovered recently and I think it's awesome. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Bye for now. Have a good day, guys.